Restaurant Punk. Restaurant Punk. Restaurant Punk. Nikos, I love this shirt. Thank you, Peter. That was a nice surprise. Did you get one for everybody? No, just for myself. Wow, that's I really want one. Interesting. <laughs> but it does look good on you. Well, Christmas is around the corner, so. It's not. Jackass. <laughs> St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Make one in green. So I know we've all worked in a lot of great spaces and we hear oh. the term, you know, this restaurant's legendary. This is iconic. This is this. This is that. And that goes from big f-ing places in New York to little shitholes around the corner. What makes these restaurants iconic? Mm. Like Subway Subs in Atlantic City. Every star has gone there since like the 50s. Oh, White House. White House. Subs. Yeah. Stephen Star restaurants. They have big Buddhas and pimped out bicycles and all that shit everywhere. Like what makes what makes the restaurant great? Like what makes it? Uh, the food. Definitely the food, in my opinion. The um, food. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to say what's most important because I think we talked about that in an episode. And I strongly disagreed. But yes, we have talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. We've talked about that a lot. But like, like, why is Subway Subs like the place to go? Why is Steven Starr so popular? Is it? So it's White House Subs, not Subway. Subway is no, a chain restaurant. Not Subway. <laughs> White House Subs in Atlantic City, one of the oldest and most iconic. Every celebrity has been there. There's yeah. pictures of all famous people all over the yeah, wall. Sinatra, the line everything. is out the door. Always. The seats are from the 70s. Oh, they're shit. It's, I mean, the soda is out of a vending machine it's and RC. it's cash only. That's but it is slamming. Props to that. Cash only. Yeah. 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 But you'd think why? Because it's cash only. That is why they like it or it's be, been there since the. No, 50s? I mean, the one, every person will argue with you if they're from this area. The bread that the subs are made on, you can't get it anywhere else. We all believe it's because of our water here. People have shipped rolls out to other states oh, yeah. from Formica's or Amoroso or Rando's. Why couldn't I think of that? I've eaten That's it every day more. of my life almost. But. It's something about the quality of what you're putting together. Their food is those cheesesteaks, just just, a cheesesteak, but it's the best. And don't call it steak and cheese. So it's the food. For that place, it's the food. (laughs) But if it's say, okay, for me, I work in bars and clubs. I worked in a legendary nightclub called Mm -hmm. Murmur. It was no bigger than the place that we're filming in. And I mean, people all over the country knew about it. And it was literally just a square box with lights, but the vibe the feeling, the, the the nerves you got once you finally got past that front door, the girl that would walk up and down the line and say, mm, not today, come back next week with a better outfit. Like it was something about the belonging or the, the just, so just the that feeling that that's something about those places that just become, it. whether it's the food, whether it's the atmosphere, the music, the location, you whatever, can't recreate right? it. it was authentic. So why do some of these places close? Mm. that's the question that I wanted to go to. Why have some of these iconic places in Philly, New York, LA, Atlantic city around the corner, whatever, why have they closed? Why haven't they lasted? Are they not keeping well, up with the times? <clears throat> Is it some of those places that you mentioned are using the same model from way back in the day and it works for them. Like white house subs. They do have amazing sandwiches, amazing subs. I used to eat there when I, before yeah. I was celiac. Okay. So yeah, white, White House subs is yeah, they're still open. They're, they're, they're going to be there forever. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the the Genos and the Pat steaks. You know, what yeah. I mean? all that stuff. They're 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 shit holes in the wall. Like they're yeah. they're just hole in the walls. But they they give out good food and and they're quick. So if you're craving something, you're going, you're getting it done, and you're going to keep going back there because it tastes so good. A lot of these other iconic places you speak of, mm-hmm. I think it comes down to not being able to manage the cost of how things are run. And I think they go in the hole further and further and further. So poor management. Poor management from the owners, I want to say. And that's not that I know why these iconic places close, but I'm just saying that's from being an owner in the back end of my mind. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I think the the point I'm trying to get to is that no matter how big, powerful, legendary, whatever you are, things come down at a point. And is it because the owner are owners are just not paying attention? Is it because the society just wants something new? Is it because I remember just going to use my personal experience, Philadelphia, uh, George Perrier was the hot shit for since like the seventies, I believe top restaurants, this, that, and the other thing. And he always stuck to his guns and stuck to what he knew. And then Steven Starr came in and little by little, Steven Starr took over Then Jose Andres opened up a and Jose Andres started coming into the scene 
and now uh, Garces. Garces, or I'm not Andre. Sorry, Jose Garces. Sorry. And, and uh, now they're opening up a Bouchon in Philadelphia, like, and some of these other places are going down. So is it just society changing and wanting something bigger and better? Or something different or? I think there's a lot of reasons and I and lately I think the pandemic had a lot to do with it because a lot of people got a minute to breathe I can name two places from my hometown mm -hmm. that were there since before I was born and they both closed last year one of them just wanted to retire it had been a hundred years their family owned this business everybody was done I guess there was nobody else to take over or they were just tired or whatever but I mean their lasagna was something I ate every summer because they were only open in the summer multiple times they had lines out the door you had to call ahead to get your plate from the beach you know you need four hours in advance to get a lasagna but they closed down because um they were ready to retire there's another one though that they closed i think they were just tired people got a chance to see what it was like during the pandemic to not kill yourself when it's your yeah. mom and pop shop and you're i can definitely so understand hard. that on the mom and pop shops because i've seen a lot of them get passed on to somebody else and they, run they it just don't keep the standard because the they want to make more money. They want to cut not costs. The same. And then like the place that I mentioned that the club I worked in. Yeah, that's what I want to ask. Because that club it, was, yeah, I never got a I loved it because it was small. So their competition yeah. came to the market and new uh, upper management came in. And in my opinion, they saw that there was this shiny new object that everybody was flocking to and got into a, a headspace of let's compete with them. Rather than staying true to what we were, now you're trying to battle something else that you're never going to be the same. They're 3,000 capacity. We're 700 capacity. Like, we're not the same. Stop trying not, so hard yeah. to look at numbers from um, a perspective of I sit at a desk in the daytime. Right. I have arguments with other people who are about numbers. Rather than coming in at nighttime, seeing what we do and getting a feeling of the mm -hmm. vibe. Because a lot of times that's what pushes you forward. You know, it's... the it's the people there. It's the the way things are done there. I think sometimes it's comes down to numbers and people just new management doesn't yeah. understand what we do. When you're trying to go bigger mm -hmm. too soon, too fast, and for the wrong reasons, you're not going to make it. I mean, we exactly have one that. of our places as well that did the exact same thing. And we discussed it many times at many meetings. Um, and I think it does fall down upon management from the owner and thinking this would be better. I mean, take the risks and try, but if you have a great model that's working, don't try to fix something that's mm -hmm. not broken. You uh, know, you can implement little things to make it better, but don't change the whole dynamic. Stick to your identity. You know that's what I'm saying? Exactly Whatever what made you did. successful, don't get greedy. And that's exactly yeah. what they don't did. They said, greedy. let's make a bigger space and move this into that bigger space so we can take on more and we can compete with this other yeah, person. Remember, less risk, less reward. Yeah. Literally True. in a week, but sales went down. More risk. You're coin flipping you're sometimes. Coin flipping. You're coin flipping. You're really gambling at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So. All right. Yeah. I was always curious about that because I see a lot of these great places just going down. I'm like, why do they keep disappearing? That was such a great place. Mom and pop shops, place that you worked at, just a lot of them. And I think you're right. I think COVID had a lot to do with it. And I think pre and post COVID, there's been, I think that's a topic for another episode. I don't think we did that one. How has COVID affected the industry? Yeah, that's a good one, actually. Yeah, I a think lot. I think it's affected us a lot. We'll, we'll, to we'll have to save that. Somebody write that down. Perfect. There's nobody there. They all left. <laughs> They're all drinking tequila camera, in the doing right? shots. Yeah. <laughs> doing shots. But, um, yeah, I think, I think just being, sticking to your guns and sticking to your identity and not getting greedy with everything. Yeah, because I, I miss a lot of those places. Yeah, me too. But, yeah. um, Honestly, I do miss Murmur. Yeah. I, yeah, I really did like it. And it was not the greatest, but it was for me. I loved it. Absolutely. And I preferred Murmur more than the new place. Yeah. And every Sorry. person that ever came into the new place was like, why did they do this? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a beautiful new place, but it just doesn't have the feeling. You've yeah. got a feeling in this other spot. I, I, yeah, I, I just think to people that are not in the industry that are mm -hmm. listening to there's so many mechanics behind the scenes that you have to take into account from ownership to accounting to food prices and liquor prices. And if you're a little place known for your bang for your buck and, you know, just so happens eggs sky rise. Cause I remember one year they went from $23 to $88. It was years ago. Oh yeah. And, oh, um, huge, huge. I mean, and you're if, like going, and if you're keeping the same price yeah, you on your can. menu, you gotta you're adjust. left for making. Yeah. You're, like right now everything's inflating 
dramatically so, across the board. Correct. It's like, ridiculous. Look at Romaine, like, <laughs> yeah, Romaine's like quadruple Romaine the price. Eggs, eggs are quadruple. Greens. But uh, just for everybody to keep in mind that that that's it's huge. Yeah, and that so, increase in menus isn't always greed. It's you have to do it. To, necessity. It's a necessity. It's a necessity. Correct. But um, okay. All right, good. Yeah, I'll keep that short and sweet. But thanks awesome. for chatting about that. With well, thanks me. for being here, Peter. Well, thanks for getting a shirt for everybody. <laughs> Shout out to White House subs. I'm starving. <laughs> okay, just, uh, Perfect. Uh, PD, I, I don't know. I don't have a self I love PD Nick. Pablo. PD Pop. PD Pop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not calling you PD Pop. Yeah. Nikos out. Leah.